Hey girls, Gailey here. So this is our formal hairstyle for the week that um, it's got a little, little braid into a messy little bun, which might sound familiar, but that's what I wanted to do today because I've gotten this requested and I've also saved this hairstyle just myself and my own internet browsing. I was like, I like that and I saved it and then I wanted to do it. So I did a tutorial on it. It's nice and easy and I think if you made this like a little bit messy or like you didn't spend all the time on it and you just kind of stuck it in a messy bun, it would be really cute for like just a formal event that wasn't like prom dress formal, but it was still nice. Um, I just love it. I love it so much. So I hope you guys like it too, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah! Bye! First, you're going to separate the hair in front of your ears on either side. What we're going to do right now is basically separate all the hair around that braid that we're going to make. So it's a little bit laborious, but this way it makes the braid a little bit easier. So once you've got the hair separated, you want to secure it out of the way, however is easiest for you. And then you're going to make another part about two inches back. And if you want the braid to be wider, you can do a little bit wider. But two inches back from there. Then once you have that hair parted out, go ahead and secure it. You can just put it in a ponytail. It's a nice, easy way to get it out of the way. Then you're going to move all your hair to one side. And it looks a little silly. And then you're just going to go ahead and split the hair into three. And you can either Dutch or French braid. Actually, in the picture, hers was French braided. But I just kind of like the look of a Dutch braid. So whichever one you want to do, you can do. And you're just going to do that all the way around the head and to the ear. Once you've incorporated all that hair, you're going to braid a couple inches normally. Now, if you don't know how to do this or that looks complicated, you can always check out my tutorial that I'll link in the description box. And then you can go ahead and curl the rest of the hair. You don't have to curl all of the hair if you don't want to. I would suggest making sure that your front hair in front of the braid is curled, but everything else is just optional. It just kind of helps the next steps to be a little bit easier and to look a little bit uniform at the end. Then what you're going to do is separate the hair in front of the neck on either side and stick the rest of the hair in a ponytail. And this is what we're gonna work with first to go ahead and start the base of our messy little bun that we have going on in the back. What you're gonna do is grab little pieces and wrap them around two fingers and then put them against your head and pin them in place. I like to put them against my head in kind of a vertical fashion. I mean, they would go off to a horizontal way a little bit, but they would stay mostly vertical. So you're just wrapping them around your fingers like you would around a roller and then putting it against your head and pinning it in place there. And you see it took me about four little pieces to get through my ponytail right there. You can do more or less depending on how PC you want the bun to look. I didn't want it to look too PC so I took bigger sections. And then you see we've got our last one here. Then you're going to take the stuff from the front and that's how you're going to frame your face. So make sure that you like the way it looks from the front. And then you're going to pin it right on top of everything else. And from the side, obviously, I had a little bit more, so I'm going to take more than one section for this side. I'm going to bring it over and place it on top and then pin it in place right there. And then you can see that that end is kind of long, so I looped it around my fingers like I did everything else and went ahead and pinned it into place there. You can either leave your ends hanging or you can pin them if you see fit. Obviously, my hair is a little long, so I needed to. And then you're going to bring that last piece back, pin it in place, and loop it if you need to. And then you use your discretion. If you want the little adornment there, you can put that there. If not, you don't have to. But that's it. Hope you like it.